Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of Payslip. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to add this types of information. This is related to your employee. And here you can see that the personal details and these details are saved in identity. So first of all, configure the identity as well as uh, you can say that uh, all these are informations uh, added by the accountant as well as admin. Uh, for the employee. So the first of all uh, add these details informations about the employee that is the personal detail. So here we have a name, father name, date of birth, gender, contact, address, nationality, marital status and picture, uh, picture profile. So the name is the data type that is a string, father name is the type of a string, date of birth is the type of date time and the gender is the type of enumerations and the contact is the type of uh, string, address is as well as the string, nationality is string and marital status is a uh, type of innovations and the picture profile is the type of string. But in the view model you can take this iPhone file and in the account login that is the email and password and confirm password that is automatically you have, uh, you have uh, added in the identity server. So there is no need to add these informations as well as you, uh, you cannot need to add contacts because the phone number is automatically added in identity. And the company details we have the departments. So the personal information is related to the uh, departments. So uh, company details and uh, departments, how many departments are there uh, for the employee. And uh, you can see that assign the uh, department to the employee. And designations of the employee, date of joining and the status. Okay, so this is the time of active and not active. And the next one is to say that uh, the next one is the financial detail as well as the bank detail and the document. Uh, these are informations also related to the employee. So the financial detail is the basic salary, allowance, deduction and the net of total salary. And that is related to your employee. So you have to add employee ID. Okay, so here we have the bank details also. So account holder name, account name, bank name, and the branch. So these are related to the bank details. As well as the document, that is the resume file, joining letter, offer letter, contract, and agreement. These all are the iPhone file, but you can take at the type of string because you have to updated informations of the resume file. So joining letter, offer letter, contact and agreements. And after these details are uh, agreed and save and click to the submit button. So just have to fun and create all these information in the Visual Studio. So just open the Visual Studio first of all. And you can see that here we have a payslip. And in the last video tutorial you have seen the areas where your identity is there but in the model section you have not added uh, you have added application user class and here you can see that uh, here we have the id property and here you can say that a name department id and the department so uh, the basic thing you can do in your project you can say that first of all okay so You can do okay so you have to add first of all personal detail right at here and the second information will be added at right here okay so here we have two pages the name father name as well so drop. So you have to add this information also. So just drop string. Father name. Drop date of birth. Drop 
from the type of string and you may can say that uh, enum type that is gender and that contact is also added in the identity user and if you can take identity user is the type of string and it's the type of integer so there is a no need to add a integer guid is the best and address is also take so prop string address and the nationality prop string nationality prop string marital status also we have the street uh, status that is the type of enumerations and the picture profile so add prop string picture profile okay so these are informations uh, you have to add in the employee okay so uh, here we have a company details so department uh, company de detail is the uh, department id you have to add designation and date of joining and the status so company detail is also added uh, in the designations uh, date of joining and uh, status is also active or not this is the employee you have to if you if you want to add differentiate between uh, department id is also added in this so you can take this part of as well a uh, designations so prop string designation prop string okay so date time and uh, this is the date of joining and the status is active so uh, that is the status oops oops status and you can say that is status okay so here we have uh, three uh, enumerations in the that is the gender so just control dot generate class and rate class and rate type generate new type and for what that is the default that is the public and that kind of enumerations so just create it and here you can see that uh, okay so just control dot generate new type enum very well the next one control dot generate type status and the new type and that is the enum okay so here we have uh, uh, the gender that is sorry male okay female and others and the marital status is single and married okay and the next one is the status that is uh, active Okay, so partial active and not active so here we have so in the mail section you can just go for zero female for one and the other for two similarly for the single is zero sorry zero and the married for one and active for the zero not active partial active is one and not active is two two so here we have the identity application user class so in the next section you can just go for uh, uh, the financial detail that is the basic salary allowances and deduction and that is related to your application user and uh, so just you can use 
financial detail so financial model you can just add it here and in class financial and here we go so just drop integer id drop application user so here you can say that user so app app user the next one is prop uh, string app user id prop string So here you can say that allowances is the type of multiple allowances uh, in the table. So here we have uh, the same allowances is the type of allowances uh, is the multiple table. So allowance ID is at here. Integer. Allowance ID. Prop Lavins and deduction is also there, so you have to set deduction ID. So here we have the deduction related to informations and the final is total salary that is not included in the total salary because the next one is the amount so here we go for the decimal and the next one is you can take a double also so the deduction amount allowance amount so allowance amount okay and the next one is the prop decimal and the detection amount okay so here we have the uh, allowance amount deduction amount uh, as well so this is the table and the next one is the salary table on the basis of the employee so just add a new model that is the class is salary table and here we go for prop integer id and the next one is the prop string employee id so you can say that uh, app user id Uh, application user so here we have application user so here we have application user class and our app user ID so the next one is uh, the salary amount so basic salary so inside we have decimal basic salary and the next one is the net salary so here we have uh, that is the basic salary and the net salary in the salary amount and the month detail as well so 
so salary id is actually joining so the next lesson i will take it the tickets okay the next one is the bank detail which is related to your employee so here we go for the models and add a new class bank details here we go for prop integer id the next one is prop string app user id prop application user next one is the account holder name so string is the name is actually the application user and account number so you can take account number prop bank name prop string IFSC number from that is the branch okay so here we have uh, this is the informations so you can take it as well as the you have to use uh, the name which is different in the bank so just you can say that prop string account holder name So this is the information of the bank details of the employee and the next one is you can take that is the document information so just add a new model the class is document details and in the document details you have to take prop integer id The next one is prop string resume file prop string offer letter prop string joining letter of string contact agreement so here we go so these are the information which is related to the employee so you have to save into, into the database table so uh, there we have uh, multiple tables uh, remaining that is related to the financial details and here we have the allowance table so prop class allowance table so here you can say that id and the name id and the name the next one is a deduction table so just you have to add and new model add a new class that is deduction so here we have the deduction as well uh, as the allowance is also clear so the next one I will do mapping between these tables and wait for this next video. Thank you very much for watching this video.